as a young child, I was very spoiled. I was given everything that money could buy. I was an only child, so that came with that. My mom, she was a Catholic, and my dad was a very strong Hindu. So I was brought up in both, learning both of these religions, but they both taught me to actually fear God, that if I did anything wrong, I would be punished for it. So I tried to do everything in the best way I possibly could. I was top in my classes. I always did my best in everything. I became the team captain of our netball team. I was good in athletics. So basically everything, I just tried to do my best. But all this changed as I ended my teenage years. My parents, they separated and suddenly I was left on my own. I ended up having this void in my life where I, I just didn't know what could fill it up. It was just very empty. And I started doing all the wrong things to fill it up. I took up smoking. I started doing drugs. I kept company of all the wrong people who led me into doing all the wrong things. And I literally made a mess of my life. I did things that I shouldn't, I wasn't supposed to. Towards the end of high school, I fell in love. But I was so broken. I was pretending to be someone else. I had no self-worth. And so all these things led me to actually walk away from this love. And I actually ended up running away from home. Somehow I made it back home and I finished my high school year and I ended up going to uni. But by that time I was so broken. I didn't know myself, I didn't know who I was. And I tried to stay away from my family. I moved as far away from them as I could. I didn't keep in touch with them. And I turned towards drinking. I would drown myself with alcohol and only my roommate was aware of this. While all this was going in my life, our neighbor, she started coming in, in our lives in a way which was, um, she would bring food to us. She knew that we didn't have money and sometimes we had to go without meals. So she would bring food to us and that touched us, and especially me, because I was so empty. She started feeling a little bit of me and I started getting pulled towards her family. They had this really tight-knit family where they loved each other and they had loyalty for each other and I wanted to be part of that. And I ended up marrying her youngest son. But I thought that was the answer to my prayers, but it was not that love and loyalty actually remain within that group and being married into that family didn't mean that I, I would receive that. Over the 10 years of my marriage life with this guy, I was made to feel that I'm the worst daughter-in-law, that I am not a good enough wife, that I am a very unfit mother. And it became very, our marriage life got very tense. It, was, it became very volatile. He became very volatile. And I was made to feel that I am just not right. And, and I had so, I was so broken. I felt like if, if, if I wasn't there, everyone would be better off. And so I put a plan into place. I thought if I ended my life, everyone else would be good. So I put a plan in place. But as I got it all sorted out, I felt something in me just cry out. And I remember sitting down and just, praying out and just crying out actually because I didn't know how to pray. I was just crying out and saying, God, you cannot be real because if, if you were real, you wouldn't be bringing all this pain in my life. All I ever wanted from life was love. And why am I so lonely? Why, am, why don't I have that love in my life? Why have, do I have to fight for this love? And I was just so torn. I was crying. And I was saying that, God, I want to know the real you, if there is a real you, if there really is God. And I just just cried. From there, everything just became more of a roller coaster ride. I suddenly just found myself homeless, <laughs> without any money. 
a single mom looking after two children who had really life-threatening health issues. And I had to take care of these two kids without having any security, without having any support, because I didn't have any family here. And I had been so broken that I had turned away from everyone. I was brought to Berwick Church of Christ by my girlfriend's mom, and she brought me because I needed help. She, she introduced me to the food pantry. And from there, life just started turning around. Suddenly, people were praying for me, and, and I would actually have money when I needed it. I had enough money to pay my bills, my rent, for my kids. It was absolutely amazing. I could see miracles happening in my life, and I was amazed by it. I wanted to know why this was happening. And in church, it was everyone was so into this Jesus guy. So I wanted to know him as well. And as, as I continued into this journey, I actually took up some causes in the church. And that helped me to become free of a lot of issues that I had. And in the end, I got baptized. And it was the most amazing feeling ever. It was like my old life had just been taken away. And I was myself. I actually found myself, my identity. And I knew that this is who I am. And I just, and the miracles didn't stop there. I actually ended up meeting with this love of my life that I had walked away from. And we are now happily married. We are a family of five who just love each other. And we ended up having this business where we, my bank account is always in the negative. And we were given this opportunity to get this business, but the loan was not getting approved. The bank won't give us loan. The brokers won't give us any loan. And we were like, OK, this is not going to happen. But God turned things around for us and just provided us with the right amount of money we needed for the deposit. And here we are, second year into our business, and we are able to pay everything on time. We are able to do so many, so much more. God actually allowed us to reach other people and to touch lives. We are able to feed the homeless. We are part of this amazing group of people from our church who we are able to go out and reach out to other people. And I actually had a privilege of baptizing one of our customers from the shop who actually ended up coming to Berry Church of Christ because of the impact we made in his life. I am seeing people coming from the darkness that I once was in into this light that I am now. I see lives being transformed.